What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. The shed is all cleaned out and as promised, I am going to put in the loft today and we'll see kind of how that goes. Uh, maybe Courtney will come out and help me. I'm gonna guess that she's not, uh, but we'll see. Stay tuned. I've been really excited to get started with this loft. To begin, I am going to take my laser uh, measuring tool and get a correct measurement. Then I'm going to use uh, my bevel gauge to match the bevel of the shed to the wood that I'm going to need to cut. I carried everything up inside the truck. Yep, I had Robbie help me because what other way to do it is there than to have your son come and help you, maybe even slow things down. I transferred the measurement from the inside onto these boards and then I took my bevel gauge and I marked that angle uh, onto each board. Later on, I don't know what was wrong, but for some reason it just wasn't matching up right. Did I ever mention that you need some clamps? You gotta get some clamps. Once the cuts were made on both sides, we could take this board in and then see if it actually fit in the space that this board was gonna go in. It took some maneuvering to get the board in. Uh, it, it didn't want to work for me at first, but uh, yeah, this one just didn't fit. We took it back outside and we made another cut and transferred those marks onto the other boards so that way we could know that everything was going to work out and we could get them all in. Well, so I thought at least. Don't stop, cause ghetto funk has got to beat the show shot. I share rock to the rhythm, you don't stop. So who the squad that'll make the house drop? Ghetto funk with the rhythm, you don't stop. Cause the squad has got to beat the show shot. I share rock to the rhythm, you don't stop. So who the squad that'll make the house drop? Ghetto. So I got the first board to fit, got the second board to fit, but it just turned into this thing that every board had to be cut at a slightly different length or angle. Yeah, I just think the shed wasn't built perfectly to size. Ah, oh, again, Robbie. You're gonna push that corner all the way over. What's wrong? Is it all the way over? Yeah. The angle is like, Slightly off. better yeah I think all the other ones are cuts they're just slightly too big from the like I needed to cut on the other side of the line I think drilling with my left hand is uh not easy oh my goodness I got a better idea I'll just pre-drill then when I go to do it it'll just be right on Now we'll go right in. Need a couple more screws because you dropped them all. Hey, hey. <laughs> I thought you were going to be helping with this situation, so be glad you're just manning the camera or womaning the camera. Oh, you can go inside and man dealing with those two girls. Oh, no thanks. Sweating in this shed seems much better. All right, that's up. So as far as like the subfloorness, like I think you're technically supposed to go the long way like this across the joists. This is not gonna hold anything heavy. So I'm just literally gonna take 
four by eight sheet of plywood or a four by eight sheet of OSB. Slide it right on there because this is 48 inches. And then I'll cut the other one to size and slide that in because uh, that's all I have the energy for right now. Got any jokes to tell us, Robbie? No. All of a sudden, you're not funny. Screw that down with some drywall screws. How are you gonna, oh wait, are you gonna get that? I gotta go up there. I mean, I can't there. Face off. Yeah, but I also need the screws screwed in well. I can do that. Can you now? Yes. Let me get the main ones in, and then you can do the rest while I cut this piece. Exactly. Sound good? Okay. Let me do these front ones first. <laughs> so, what do you think, Court? This in the barn? Yeah, this will be great. Yeah, this was like a dry run for putting one in the barn. Although the barn's gonna have to be a little different because it can't span the whole way. But essentially, this is what it would look like plus a ladder, maybe. I may have overestimated my ability to get up here. Yeah, I think you need a higher ladder. Nonsense, I got this. Robbie, hold this still. No, stand up and hold it. No, that's... I know, I'm getting up. Are you now? Okay, keep it still. Don't let it tip. I won't see him being like that. Thumbnail. How's this look? I don't want to get up there. <laughs> um, I used 2x6 joists. I could have used 2x4s, but we are just on the cusp of not being able to. Weight wise, I figured 2x6s would be safer. Why couldn't we have done this in the fall? No, man, we would. What... Go get the green ladder. That seems like a way better decision. Uh, that's what I said. 32, but not 32 over here. Of course. It's like 33 and a half here. So apparently this wasn't built all that square. It is so hot in the top of this shed. It's unreal. It wasn't that hot down there, but it's that hot up here. I'm drenched in sweat. It doesn't help that like, it's nearly 100 degrees today. It's a terrible day to do this. But I had to do it because it's vlogist. You only need to. Oh, you just like you just hit this one part that just becomes so hot. Yeah. So be quick about it. So where do I have to put it? Oh, I just I told you it. earlier. Did you forget already. Pardon me, yeah. There's Joyce running this way. Mm -hmm. You gotta put one in the middle. Just do the middle ones. Mm -hmm. Sorry to do these. into the table oh geez really it, it, it's still functional it's no big deal okay I'm gonna keep that in mind when you ask me to buy another one fair enough I mean maybe if you were over here helping me cut it definitely too hot for that turkey can fix it code or hack into anything. Time, okay? That's a miss. Get up there and actually get it into the wood. All 
All right, well that's one loft project done. Now it's time to go inside and cool off because I'm overheated, about to pass out. I need some water. Whoo! Thanks y'all for watching or something. Bye. See you on the next one.